Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is going to be super quick because I actually have exam in like an hour. This is going to be a haul. It's a collective haul. I did not buy this just in like one day or anything like that. Um, I have it just all next to me. I was going to go in order, but I don't really have time to quickly. My play suit is from Princess Polly. It's just a stripey off the shoulder one. And I think it's $50. And they have afterpay, so that's really cool as well. But let's just jump into the makeup haul. The first products I have here, they're all actually like setting sprays or along the lines of setting sprays. So the first one I got was the MAC Fix Plus Prep and Prime. Um, this is actually only $32. I thought it was going to be so much more expensive just because you're getting so much product. Like I thought it was going to be like 50 bucks, But yeah, and I've only used a little bit of it. Um, I don't really use it as a setting spray. I definitely still use it as more of a... Like I spray it on my brush to get um, the pigment, like the shimmery pigments onto my eyes. But yeah, I like it so far. So yeah. The first one is um, by Astralis. It's the makeup um, finishing spritz. Um, I use this every single day. And if you can see, it hasn't even been used that much. So this goes along, like a little goes a long way. I love it. Um, I went swimming the other day and my makeup stayed on. I don't think this is actually claims to be waterproof, but it did do waterproof. And it's also, again, from Chemist Drugs or whatever. It's from Maybelline. Um, it's the Master Fix setting spray. Uh, I've used this twice so far. It's pretty good, I think. It doesn't have the best smell. It kind of just smells, um, I don't know, it's kind of like almost dirty. Like, it's like dirty water. That's what it kind of smells like, but I don't know. I think it does the trick, like from what I've seen, my makeup didn't come off and my makeup didn't move and I didn't have any like separation or anything. All the drugstore stuff was from a 40% off at Priceline sale, if you didn't get and go and get that, that's what I got these from. So this one here is just the AC, oh, AC on tour, contouring and highlighting palette in the cream. I have the powder one, which I, I don't know, I like the top three shades, but I thought I'd give the cream a go and I actually... Um, really love it. I got the warm shade. Ac oh, I got the warm shade accidentally. <laughs> Didn't really mean to, so that's kind of annoying. But I mean, it still works, and they blend out really easily. Um, the banana shade a little bit darker. Like that's why I didn't like the banana shade. But the banana shade is a little bit darker in this palette than the cool palette. Like the cool banana shade was like the banana shade. This one's quite yellow. I don't know. <laughs> the next thing I have is the Anastasia Glow Kit in that glow. Let's talk about this. I bought this um, from quite like a, I got it for, I think I got it from Amazon, so it's quite cheap, to be honest. And I was like a little bit like, mm, I don't really care. Like, you know, I don't want to be spending something that I don't know if it's that good or not. I'm going to buy all the other ones. This is so good. It comes with like um, four different shades. So this is that glow. So it comes with sunburst, golden bronze, bubbly and dripping in gold. I love dripping, actually I love all of them, and they're so good, it's a nice sheen, they're creamy, like buttery, which is always really good, and yeah, it's got really nice packaging, and go get it, because it's really good. The Morphe palette, it was the 35k one, um, again, I was a little bit like, oh, got it off Beauty Bay, Beauty Bay was really good, the shipping took a while, but yeah, it was really good, um, I was a little bit like, I don't know, everyone talks about it, but I was like, it's a massive palette, like you can't really travel with it. But I mean, the 35K has most of your like basic shades, like the transition ones, the warms, the greys, you have a black and then you have a white, which I was really impressed with. Um, I love it. I'm definitely going to get more. Morphe palettes are amazing. They're so pigmented. They blend out so easily and you're getting 35 shades and this cost me $33 from Beauty Bay. So I mean, I don't know. Can't complain. And from the 40% off. Sales, so I got two, they're both from Essence, this one's in the nudes, and this one's the roses, um, they were at like $8 originally, down to like 4 with a 40% off, I have used only this palette yet, only this shade, but they are so pigmented, like, it's ridiculous how pigmented they are, I have like a little bit of shimmer through them, but again, they're not like, it's not glitter, which is also really good, because even like high-end some of their like shimmer products are glitter, like just based, like glitter based. This is not, this is actually like a sheen, it's really nice to build up. I got these, actually my mum got them for me. Thanks mum. Um, it is a pack and it's just the Batiste dry shampoo, 
So what these two are the Ella Henderson and this one's just the original tropical one. It's the mini travel size. I love Batiste uh, dry shampoo. I'm pretty lazy when it comes to washing my hair. Also, I had it dyed at the ends. So if I wash it all the time, it definitely does a lot of damage to my ends. It just strips the oil out. So this is really good just to put in my roots and literally I can go days on end without washing my hair, which sounds really gross. But it's actually good for you not to wash your hair all the time. But yeah, I am a clean person. I do wash my hair. Don't worry. <laughs> Found them. So I got these. It's called On The Glow or Glow On The Go kit by um, Becca. So it's just like a mini one of their skin per skin um, shimmering skin perfecter and then their mini um, highlight. So I got mine in Moonstone. Um, when my friend first saw it, she's like, oh my god, that's so small. Like, that's such bad quality. But I think... I have like 500 highlighters plus that Anastasia one. Like, I'm never gonna even go through that. Like, it's an eyeshadow size, but I mean, it's so good for traveling. Like, it's tiny. And this, I'm never gonna go through a whole one of those. So I thought, I think it's pretty good. And it was only $35 a pack from Sephora. So, quite a few things from ColourPop recently. Uh, I cannot find one of them. But I do, I know I have it, so I'll just tell you about it. But yeah. So, the first thing I got was the um, eyeshadow, Super Shock eyeshadow in this shade, yeah, in the shade, I was about to say flavour, shade Tang. It's just like this kind of purpley grey. Oh my god, it's coming up so much more purple. It's grey. It's like not that purple in real life. It looks so purple on camera. Not that purple. I also got two highlighters, again, um, in Lunch Money and Wisp. I originally had I had one and it was like butterfly beach whatever and it was two rose gold for me so I sell I get, got rid of that one and got those two. I got one of the um, contouring sticks in the shade Easy Peasy which I haven't used yet and then I got um, one of the glossy lippy sticks in the shade Skimpy again have not used. Then I got two eyeliner pencils I only have one here I can't find my black one but this one is just the brown one it's in Stomper it's a brown eyeliner pencil crayon and I really like it then I got the gel eyeliner in Swerve which matches the black eyeliner pencil which is also in Swerve last thing from Colourpop is what I'm wearing on my lips today and it's in the shade Magic Wand and it's just one of their satin finish ultra satin lip so that's also really good sorry it's going to be dirty because I've been using it but anyway I got the um, Real Techniques blush brush but I actually like it for contouring because it's quite, um, it's like, got a tip. I don't know, it's like domed, if you can see that. So I like it for like bronzing. Anyway. And then I also got the Real Techniques Beauty Blender that is absolutely so dirty right now because I've been using it. So, yeah. But I love the Real Techniques Beauty Blender because it does when you like wet it, it expands so much. Like it's so big and it blends out really nicely on the face and yeah. Okay, there's a story behind this. So I have like a, um eyebrow brush and it was just getting really dirty and it was like falling apart so I went on to eBay and bought this one dollar one anyway it turns up and I pull it out and it says on it it's fake I have it has to be fake it says on it Anastasia Beverly Hills and it didn't on the website like it wasn't like I just bought it because I was like oh, I'm gonna get it like a better one but it had a spoolie on the end as well so I was like oh bar like bargain like that's good and they like, pull it out and I'm like, oh, it says Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I went on to like the same page where I bought it off and it doesn't have any pictures with that on it. And I was like, how random. But yeah, so I just got an eyebrow brush. It does say Anastasia Beverly Hills. It was $1 off eBay. I doubt it's Anastasia Beverly Hills. But yeah. And I just picked up this um, manicure set because my other one, all the pieces. I have like the container still, but it's all like lost. Like, I don't know where, like, the tweezers are, the little scissors, there's nothing that's really there anymore. But I got that. I try, like, those toothbrush brushes. But I was going to get, like, the good quality ones, but I thought, let me try the cheap ones first. Just to know, like, I wanted to see if I felt comfortable holding a brush like that. Um, so I just bought these ones. It came with, like, the big one, the littler one, and then three of, like, oh my god, it's a handful. Three of the littler ones. Um, honestly, I'm not a fan. I don't really, I just think it's so much easier to hold a brush like that. A lot of people really like the brushes where you can hold it, like the toothbrush brushes, but I can't say I'm a fan. Sale from Priceline, I got the Essence Lip Line in the shade Satin Mauve, Mauve, whatever it's called. I say this perfectly. Colour. 
I have like five. Oh, I think I have all of them actually. Like they're two dollars each, which was amazing. Then I got the silky blush in the shade Adorable from Essence. Again, can you see that? That's just a nice pink color. I got the Revlon Colorstay Stay Natural Makeup in Honey Beige. I already had one of these, but it was in a lighter shade and this matches my fake tan. Even though you can't tell because the light is kind of washing me out. I'm a lot darker in real life. But yeah, that matches ultra dark. This new one by Astralis, it's called Matchmaker Shade Adjusting Drops. This is the lightning one. Far out. <laughs> it works. Too much, to be honest. Um, when I was coming off my fake tan, I was still using the dark, so I thought I'd just drop a couple of this. And it lightens it so much. Like, a little goes a freaking long way. And I also picked up the NYX Roll-On Shimmer in the shade Salmon. It's just like that pinky kind of shade. I really like it. Um, the only thing is that it's it doesn't have like glue with it. Like you know how some like roll-on shimmers are like kind of tacky. This one doesn't have that, so I do have to pick up this um, a glitter glue because this one falls off and I have like glitter. And I got the NYX um, Glam Liner. It's waterproof. Haven't actually used this yet. Yeah, it's black. I got the Make Me Brow Essence gel mascara thing for your brows this is the fourth one I've picked up it's three dollars it's really good then I also picked up the essence forbidden volume mascara haven't used this one yet so I picked up the their real push-up liner and I with it came a mini their real mascara and a mini their real makeup remover got that as a set from Maya I then went on to princess Polly and picked up the full-size their real mascara and with that came a free mini hula bronzer Ugh, that I've been using. Again, it's tiny, but I have so many bronzers, so it doesn't really matter. But yes, that was really good. I also picked up the LA Pro Concealer in the shade Chestnut. I'm using, I wanted to use this for contouring. I use it three days in a row and it would like separate, like all here would be like this white patch where it had like gone away, like it had like come away from the skin. And I don't know, it was, and it would blend, when I blended it out, like when I was like beauty blending it out, it would take off the foundation underneath almost, like I don't know, it was so thick. I don't know, if you do it all the time, like if you use this all the time, tell me in the comments how you use it because I can't say I'm a fan of it. The last thing I got was the Wonderful Lashes, mm, well no sorry, Extreme Black Wonderful Argan Oil Mascara from Rimmel London. Again, 40% off sale. So hopefully that wasn't super duper rushed. And I am planning on doing a, a makeup tutorial soon. It's just that I don't have a good camera. But yeah, so thanks guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some ideas. I mean, Christmas is coming. So if you want any of that, put it on your Christmas list. Maybe Santa can drop it off for you. Who knows? But yeah, most of them are pretty, I'm pretty happy with some of them. Um, we're a little bit hit and miss. Uh, but yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe or like this video. And I do actually have a new Instagram account. It's called Beauty N Rebecca. Just the letter N. Um, just because I, f my friends um, are on my normal Instagram account and I think I don't want to break their privacy. Um, so yeah, I made my own beauty account, which is primarily for beauty and like my YouTube channel. So go give that a follow. Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.